United preserving their three-goal lead from the first leg and looking for another now with Blackmore. Just took it a yard too far forward. Beaumont and Hunter combined to intercept. Now Phillips has given it away to Ince. Ince looking dangerous. It's a great run this by Ince. Turned in by the goal poacher, Mark Robbins. engineered that goal a marvellous run by Paul Ince. 15 minutes to half time and the strength determination and power of Paul Ince took him past three four lunging tackles and he delivered a killer ball where defenders hate it Robbins he's a predator and Robbins was there to apply the finishing touch to a marvellous surging run here by Ince Ince at his best taking defenders on easy finish for Robbins Phelan and cleaned up nicely by Beaumont straight at Wallace's feet although he brought it down in an instant and links again with Brian McClare and that's a good looking ball as well for Aaron on the right and pulled back for Wallace somehow kept out and Wrexham rode their luck a little bit then as Wallace threatened to score it's a marvellous run by Irwin down the right pulling it back for Wallace hit the defender Beaumont and Wallace just denied by Cooper Another United corner. Alistair forward, marked closely by Nigel Beaumont, the number five. But Pallister reaches it and kept off the line at first, but I'm afraid as far as Wrexham are concerned, it wasn't enough because following in with Bruce, and that's 2-0. And Wrexham, just as happened in the first leg, find that their brave resistance is ended by a Manchester United flurry just before half-time. Bruce turned it in, Pallister had done the damage with the downward header, and Wrexham are two behind. Steve Bruce was making a habit of scoring goals in...